The quality of the results from your large language model can highly depend on the quality of the data fed into those models. And most of those data are trapped in PDF and image documents. In this tutorial, I'll explain how you can efficiently extract text and metadata from those documents. If you're ready, let's get started. This is the one page PDF that we'll be using and try to extract those content. And it's it's a kind of tricky. Um, it has um, the first two paragraphs are row based information and the remaining information are column based information. And some of the difficult part is to efficiently extract those column based information. And we will see which one of the libraries we'll be using would be able to efficiently extract those information, the overall information. And to do that, let's come back into the notebook. And the first thing that we'll be using is to convert the original PDF into image because some libraries like PyTesseract works with image information. And this is the first step. Let's install um, the PyPDF library, which is used to convert PDF into images and the installation is already done. So let's go ahead and import the relevant libraries. Matplotlib to perform visualization and image and bytes IO to perform um, image processing. And after importing those information, we'll implement this helper function, which takes the path to the PDF file we are interested in. And it's going to return a dictionary where the index of a dictionary is going to be the page number and the value of the dictionary is going to be the byte information for that particular um, image. After that, now we have this display function. The display function is basically going to show um, the image format of each page of this PDF document and it takes as input the output of the previous function. And now let's execute this function. So what it's going to do is to display for each page the page number and also plot the relevant image. Now first convert this um, experimentation PDF file which is the one I have shown here. And now let's see what is in this variable. And in this variable, we can see that the index is zero and the value is that bytes information. And this is the only index we have because we are only dealing with um, a one page, a one page PDF. So let's comment this one and display. And we can see that page number one it starts with zero, but we increment the page number with one. So this is the result. Now we can proceed with the first library, which is PyTesseract. And to install PyTesseract, just type pip install PyTesseract by removing um, this command. But once again, this PyTesseract library is already installed. And from PyTesseract, we're going to import the image to string function, which is going to convert the image into string. Let's import that function. And this is the helper function that is going to use um, the original list of dictionary for final image, which is the result of this convert PDF to images. And it takes as parameter that uh, variable. And with that variable, what we're going to do is to get the list, the actual list of all the images. And now we iterate through each index and image bytes. And now we use the image to string function by um, providing the image, which is going to extract the textual information from that specific image as a raw text data. Then we add that raw text into the original list. And finally, we concatenate the content. We concatenate the content of each page and return the final results, separating them with the um, backslash and which is the line break. Let's go ahead and see what is um, the input. Let's first execute this function and now print the result. 
So, well, we can see that um, the result is not bad because it's managed to keep the first two paragraphs and let's see how it managed to deal with those column-based information. And here we have the first two paragraphs. This document, da da da, to machine learning operations. Whether you're joining, da da da, um, can be helpful. And this first section, data science, until more, and also the link. This is what we can find here. And so on for MLOps, natural language processing. So what PyTestract is doing under the hood is this image processing technique provide a rectangle on each section. This is a rectangular shape that is going to put a rectangular shape on this first on this first paragraph. It's going to do the same as well for the second paragraph. And when it comes to this whole block, for this whole block, it's going to pull the first rectangular shape on this whole block and then going into granularity with each section. It has this first block, extract the content, the second block, extract the content, and so on from the top left to the bottom right. And this is what it's going to do to extract the content of each of these blocks. That's the reason why um, it manages to keep the same results um, from the first, I mean, from the original image. This is not bad. And let's move on with um, the second library called Easy OCR. Similarly to PyTestract, Easy OCR also deals with images. And the installation also is done straightforward with pip install Easy OCR. From Easy OCR, we import that reader. And the reader is going to take as parameter the language we are interested in. In this specific case, it's English. Now let's um, import that information. And after that, similarly to PyTestRack, we're going to implement this helper function, which is going to implement the extraction process of text from um, image using Easy OCR. What we're doing here is iterate through all the information, and also now we create the image. And function here to extract the text content is the read text function. And now what we do is to extract the content using the join function, which is going to take all the information from the raw text and finally concatenate everything and separate them using the break line. With easy OCR, let's first identify the first paragraph, which is which is here, and it's kind of efficiently extract that first paragraph. But the second one, there is an issue with the formatting, the breakdown, because it does not take the information straight as it is in the original document, but also ignores some of the codes we find in the UR section. And also, when we look at the column-based information like data science and so on, it's saying that data science section covers basic to advanced overfitting, which is not true because what it's doing here is to perform a role-based reading data sensation basic to advanced overfitting, which belongs to the second column. And this might not be ideal when reading column-based information. And in this situation, um, easy OCR fails, fails really bad to extract those information because this is going to bias the overall data. The third library in the analysis is the PyPDF2. Um, the PyPDF2 is a kind of built-in um, PDF processing tool to extract and perform some additional processing using the PDF reader module. This is also the helper function that can be used to extract the content of a PDF file. First, we initialize the PDF reader instance, which is going to take the PDF file. And from that reader, we're going to iterate through all the pages and use the extract text function for each page and then concatenate all these pages, which is finally going to be returned here. Now we can use the function to extract the content. We can print on the, the results here. And as you can see, the execution is really fast. And PyPDF in this situation managed to efficiently extract the content of the PDF documents.
And one of the reasons why PyPDF is fast is because it does not go through the, this process um, of image processing. And also the final result skips the original formatting. Like we can see here, we have the bolds. Uh, all the titles are bold and also the same information that we can find in the original documents, which is great, right? But the downside with PyPDF is that when we have image information in the PDF files, it might not be the right tool to use because it fails to capture those information. Last but not least is using the long chain library to extract in text from both image, PDF, TXT, um, and different types of files. And there is a specific module for each one. If we want to extract information from, from PDF, we can do it with a file loader module. If we want to extract information from image, we can use it with the unstructured image loader. And I have implemented both cases on the helper function for both cases. And with uh, image information extraction from image, we use the unstructured image loader. This helper function is similar to the one we have implemented for PyTesseract. And the only difference is that we need to implement the loader module, which is going to be taking the image as parameter. And now we um, take the data which is going to call the loader that load function and from that load function we basically extract the page contents or information from all the data and this is going to be added to the image content um, list with that image content list finally we return the joint value of each of these pages and now we can print the results using the unstructured image loader we can see that both first and second paragraph for role based information is kept the same way and also for the column based information they are all preserved and similarly for PDF, we use the unstructured file loader module, which is going to extract information um, from any type of PDF. So implementing this function, we use the unstructured file loader, which is going to take the PDF file as parameter. Then we extract all the documents using the loader.load function. And with that, then we iterate it through all the documents by extracting data from the page content attributes and we then concat make the concatenation by separating everything using the break line and now we can run this function by running this function it returns the desired output and this desired output is similar to the one we had with um pi pdf2 in terms of formatting the bolts are kept bold and also all the remaining information are kept the same way and Langchain is really powerful because it manages to deal with any types of document and once again there is no right or wrong library just make the right choice based on your specific use case if you like this video give it a thumbs up and also i'll provide the link to the complete notebook in the description below and feel free to share and let me know in, also in the comment section if there are some additional topics that you want me to cover uh, in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.